The governor came off the plane with a woman he's been linked to romantically, but denied it. The I-Team's Jonathan Humbert reports from Carson City on his run-in with the governor. We met up with Governor Jim Gibbons at the Reno airport Monday night. Governor. When we asked about the trip and a possible Reno love interest, he became upset at our question. Did you go with anyone today? Well, what's it to you? Yeah, I went with security. And anyone else? Well, what's it to you? Karash became romantically linked to the governor after he sent her 800 text messages in the past. This at a time while they were both married to other people. No one else came with you on this trip? No one. Kathy Karash didn't accompany you on this trip? She did not? No. She's not in this airport right now? No. She was not on that flight? No. Despite what the governor says, our cameras caught Karash heading into an airport bathroom. She came out, but ran back inside after seeing our camera. When she emerged again, we asked her about the trip. Did you attend this conference in any way with the nope. governor? I did not attend any conference in any way. She walked toward an SUV with tinted windows, the governor's state-owned vehicle. So you're saying that you did not attend the conference with the governor, even though we saw you coming off the plane directly after him? You know what? I could have been in Las Vegas having tea with the first lady. No comment. Please. Meanwhile, the governor's security officer tried to move our cameras away and help Karash get into the back seat. You work for the governor's detail. If you're obstructing a police officer, I can take you to jail. Karash stayed alone inside the car while it remained parked in an emergency lane. But this car belongs to the people of Nevada and can ferry the governor and his personal friends. The governor has executive discretion to use that car and the officer must follow his orders. A few minutes later, the governor walked out to the vehicle. Governor, you told us just 10 minutes ago that Kathy yeah, Crash was not on this flight. Do you she, want to change your statement? Well, she was not uh, with me in Washington, D.C. I can't control where she goes or what she does. So you just happened to be in Washington, D.C. with her and happened to be leaving in the same car as her? First of all, no, she was not in D.C. Gibbon said he was giving her a ride home because their Reno homes are near each other. That's fine. But you also said I that she wasn't really on this flight with you, sir. You lied well, to me. Well, I didn't say she was on. I asked you unequivocally whether she was on the flight or not with the you. The flight went into Vegas. She was not on that flight. She was on the flight coming from Vegas to Reno. It's a public flight. It's a public airport. It's a public plane. Sir, we Let are literally do... less than 12 hours away from a special session that's going to decide almost a billion dollars in cuts. And here you are with a woman who's not your wife. You're full of shit. You are. You really are. All you're doing is out here late at night trying to make a go. scene. Today, we sought clarification from the governor. He responded via email, admitting his story had changed. Kathy Karash accompanied me on this trip, he wrote. Her expenses were not paid by the state. He said, I apologize for any ambiguity or confusion caused by my answers to your questioning of me late last night. I had just finished three days of arduous meetings and a cross-country flight when I was suddenly confronted with your questions. I admit I was briefly stunned to face your brazen inquiries about my personal life. Now the governor must focus on the special session and put distractions behind him.